Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win. He's going awesome. again. Notre Dame is scored. When you watch Alabama, what jumps out at you? Their offensive line. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you're talking about the, a physical group of young men, and, and it starts with Barrett Jones, this the center. And you look at this guy, he's played every position on the line, guard, tackle, uh, center, and he's been All-American in every position. And he, he's, the, he's the, the engine that makes that, that offense run. You know, and then you have those you know, physical backs and, and Lacey and Yeldon, you know, some big backs that can get downhill and play with such physicality. And watching the BC, I mean, the SEC championship, I mean, they imposed their will on Georgia's defense. You know, they, when they got down, it was, there was no panic. It was just, we're going to stick with this running game. We're going to shove it down your throat and make you like it. So probably the strength of Notre Dame's defense, a very good defense, the number one scoring defense in the country, is their defense against the rush. So what kind of matchup are you seeing Alabama's running attack against Notre Dame's defensive line? And for me, it starts with, uh, again, Barrett Jones and Lewis Nix. You know, that matchup will, to me, decide who's going to win this battle. If, if Barrett Jones can, can, can control Lewis Nix one-on-one, uh, it's going to be a real long day for the Irish. But if Lewis Nix can get penetration, use his quickness and power to force double teams and keep their offensive guards off our linebackers, then it should be an opportunity for our linebackers to run around and make some plays. But we're going to have to tackle. You know, how well we tackle the ball and how well, you know, that matchup goes, you know, either way with uh, Barrett Bear Jones and Lewis Nix will go a long way in telling how well we stop their uh, offensive run. Clearly a game that will, be, that will be won in the trenches. How do you look at the battle between Notre Dame's productive rushing attack and Alabama's defensive line? Because Alabama owns the number one rushing defense in the country. They give up less than 80 yards a game. I still go back to the matchup of the center and the nose tackle. They run a similar defense than what we do, a 3-4 defense, and Jesse Williams is at, the, that, at, at that nose. And can we control, can Braxton Cave control Jesse Williams at the point of attack? And if, again, it starts between the guards. And if our guards are playing well like they did against USC, they're going to have their work cut out for them. And if they can get up to that second level and get to their linebackers, I look for Theo Riddick and Sierra Wood to have some running room. And when we get in the secondary, I like our chances with those two backs. How important will ball control be in this game? Well, we're going to, have to take some shots. So, I mean, and, you know, there's, it just depends on how you control the ball. And for us, I really think Everett Golson is going to be key in terms of, you know, play action. If we can get the run game going, we're going to have to take some shots downfield because Alabama has shown some susceptibility to the, to the passing game and, you know, guys running open. And, you know, guys such as, you know, Tyler Eifert, I think he's going to be the biggest matchup concern outside of Theo Riddick and the ability to, in the passing game, forcing them to do something to, to take him out of the game. And that's going to hopefully open things up for our outside receivers. Now, Alabama does not throw the ball a lot, but when they do, they have been very effective. Both A.J. McCarron and Alabama as a team own the number one passing efficiency rating in the country. So using your experience as a defensive back, how do you look at that matchup, the Alabama passing attack against the Notre Dame pass defense? Well, it comes back again to the, how well are we controlling the line of scrimmage. Do we, are they forcing us to drop that eighth man, seventh, eighth man in the box and getting one-on-one -on -one matchups. That's what Alabama does. They pound you with the football, run, play action, and use their speed on the outside to get one-on-one -on -one matchups and run past your defenders. So it comes back to can our safety stay back in coverage because we're able to get things done up front with our front seven and force them to throw the ball and not be able to run the ball. That will be the key. If we can keep them out of those, you know, keep them into those third and long situations, that plays into our favor. And something in particular, when you look about A.J. McCarron, you know, he has a few balls downfield, but the majority of his passes are the comeback routes 
and the screens and those shorter routes and guys making plays. So, again, it comes back to can we tackle the football? How well we tackle the football on those little short routes, the screens, the outside screens, the running back screens. If we tackle the football well and don't allow uh, run after the catch, we'll be in good shape. Oh.